the overall play style on maps in particular. So I love seeing Steel on that pick. And then it's also hard for, for us to look at an agent select screen, not see a coach on the bottom left for Sentinels and, and like, oh yeah, they do that without a coach. Like it's wild. It's it's a complete effort, but Shazam does so much of the heavy lifting for Sentinels that I mean it's really almost criminal not to mention. It's amazing to be able to go in and out of that mentality, too, because, yeah. I mean, it, we remember looking at Masters Reykjavik. You could see uh, Boaster's screen, and his eyes would be attached to the top left, or when you see Shazam or any other of the in-game leaders, they're always checking that minimap to provide information that the executors are holding angles on and not taking their eyes off of. And to be able to do that, and like I said, flex in and out of that mode to instantly go into action mode here on the jet. And it's so amazing to see that caliber of play. And he's consistent. Shazam, his sheriff this week has been absurd with the headshots he's able to pull off. Yeah, he's been a ton of fun to watch. Uh, I, I would, would love to get your thoughts on this. Riff. Viper seems like such a... Almost like a must pick, right? Especially on split. Yeah. You see Hiko's busting it out, but Sentinels, again, we, we talked about how they don't play split very often. It's, it's been a long time. Opting not to go for the Viper here. Do you, What are your thoughts on that? Sentinels not going for the Viper. I love the fact that they're going for the Duelists. You don't see it all that often where people are still going hard. Uh, maybe a little bit of envy when you had the Caboose squad going on or uh, kind of what they play to still. But I like that aggression. They still have Dapper behind them to make sure the flank is covered. If he's going to be lurking at all, delivering out a little bit of that info. But tens on Reyna is very, very scary. And you can pretty much bet your uh bet your bottom dollar that wherever he's going there needs to be a little bit of agency from the rest of your defending team from 100 deep because yeah. if yeah. you just let him lurk he'll open up a site the team will be there in a few seconds splits are pretty decent and easy rotate if you have that mid control the the truth is there are really only a handful of of duelists in the world that that really should be or have any business playing reina especially at this yeah yeah. caliber and it just so happens that two of them are loading into the same lobby right now <laughs> obviously austin is going to be rocking the jet but an absolutely terrifying uh duelist or reina specifically in his own right getting a quick update folks uh we did have a game crash as we were loading in but we just had such a damn good time it flew right by Boom. and we've gotten past that so we are loading into the action as you can see here 100 thieves is going to start off on the attack and it's already a pretty heavy lean towards b right you see the pinks coming out on the mini map you've already got dapper set up with some utility to protect that but it looks like that's where they're going to hit early on so looking at the way they're going to play this with with steel on ko hanging out he's waiting to see what they can source and in information here with a zero point, throws those out almost immediately, and they're playing right off the utility here, Doug. Oh my gosh, the flash and the dash right into things, and Sick is going to draw first blood in this series. The flash got traded right back as down, B. Dapper is now playing in the smoke. The spike has gone down. You've got a late entry coming in from Nitro as he rotates around. Dapper dancing around oh. the burst was just too much on Hiko. As you see Steel, who's back in a brutal corner, they're going to have to take it to him. They do just that. Sentinels win the pistol. Sentinel's retake, man. I feel like a broken record every time I say it. It is a scary thing. You saw the trifecta of the, those last members moving forward together as angles were being taken. I love the take by 100 Thieves as well here. Playing off instant utility. It would have been the chaos that they thrive in where Dapper wouldn't have had util use because he gets suppressed out. And whoever else was in the site would have been forced to back off due to the flash as well coming through. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, they played it accordingly, and it seems like they were expecting something fast from 100 Thieves there. Sentinel's up one. Spike retreat. 100 Thieves opting not to force into anything cheeky this time around. I love this Viper's Wall in particular. I think... It does a really good job of giving the attacking team agency onto ramps, and it allows for a really cheeky, like if you're gonna work your way into ropes, you have room to work with. But what I like even more is the wow. aggression that we're seeing from Dapper on the defensive side, knowing they have the advantage, taking the fight yeah. to 100 Thieves yet again. In the beginning of that last one, I was explaining what Steel and Hiko were doing with the Viper with this KO. It maybe stopped again here as they continue to push. Shazam wants more. The triple in his eyes as he goes for the classic. The triple goes through, but Zomps picks that one up to take it out. Is that Steel and Hiko can look to put that wall up, use that suppression find anywhere behind the wall, 
make Sentinels play a little bit sweaty and move around, and then Hundred Thieves uses that wall to either fake where they're going or not. It's it's mm -hmm. something you can see, oddly enough, in the assists that Steel has been getting this week. If you check out Steel's assists this week, he's averaging upwards of 14 a map with what he's finding, what he's doing, the style he plays KO in, and to not be that Russian duelist that everybody was kind of like, this is what it does. He's lurking, suppressing, and allowing the rest of the team, like Asuna and Ethan, who have some of the highest frags per map in this week, to get those kills. So the way that they can start playing once 100 Thieves gets a bit of cash, cash flow going, we can see here in the third round. And I think it's stuff like that, which is why people believed so much in this 100 Thieves roster, and it almost felt like an inevitability, right? When is this gonna, when is it gonna happen? When are they all gonna come together and click? And you start to highlight some of those stats, like Steel and how good he's been able to be in the support role, allowing Asuna to do his thing, allowing Ethan to do his thing. And yep. this is 100 Thieves in, in, in a really scary place that we haven't seen in a long time. They're starting to work the middle of the map here. We talked about that Viper Wall. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about it throughout the half, but it's set up there. Now, the one thing he's going to say, he's going to get away. Oh, I thought he was going to get away, but no, Asuna hunts him down and gets the kill. It was smart play. He was trying to play the aggression, get back, keep it, but Asuna already pushed up. Great damage from Shazam there. Wants to pressure it again. Fearless right now as he's trying to play a bit of a one-way there, but it opens up for Ethan, and he will find the frag. True to the aim he's had this week. Tries to play a backflash, and Asuna takes that one in the face from tens. So Nitro had been waiting in Garage the entire time. Now you've got Hiko who's joined as well. The problem is Ethan's got the spike and there's D Dapper's the one in between them, right? So you're going to have to work your way through Dapper while all of this is happening. The rotation's coming through. Hiko's already dropped. Dapper gets one. Tense gets one as well. And Ethan never made it out of mail, right? Like they had the setup in the Garage that they wanted, but the spike never got there. And he's just camping out. Oh, no. Oh, the bonus round comes through still for Sentinels. What, do they only lose one on that? And they are just floating in the cash right now. They shut 100 Thieves down for that. Three no frags so far for 100 Thieves. And this is going to be tough to get the train rolling. And so you get a technical timeout hmm. to get this one here, which will give a breather to 100 Thieves, which will feel nice because Sentinels are, the train is on the tracks and it is it's picking up speed, Doug. It is indeed. Sentinels have looked very good. As soon as we figure out what's going on uh, with this technical pause, we'll get you all back into the action and get you informed as soon as we can. But you're right, Riv. It seems like and you, you even go back to that opening round where it looked like 100 Thieves wanted to dial up something quick and Sentinels were ready for it. Yeah. Right? Like, they Absolutely. had that read even playing off of the suppression that, that 100 Thieves were trying to work around, which is such a... a a beautiful display of utility usage in, in theory. Sentinels were just able to play right through it. So we've seen the slight B, a little bit of mid work here from 100 Thieves. A lot of times what you'll see, especially uh, coming from the side of Sentinels, and, and most teams will, if the operator comes into play, you and you walk up mid take as much of that space as you can right somebody mm -hmm. from b heaven is more than likely to give you a shoulder give you utility you know who's up there that's enough right then you can start to focus a little bit on the ropes on zip line and make sure nothing's going to flank that operator who's focused on heaven and, and a lot of the times that can be the way to start to open up split now with split as well econ is very big utility is huge and agency of taking and holding sites more so than others so down in money is going to be more difficult the flash was there but he had to go all the way through the heaven it doesn't pop in tens face tens is able to clean up the kill that was easy right and 100 thieves didn't have a ton of money to work with you were just highlighting how important the economy is Those you're seeing sheriffs. it on full display here Ion Sheriffs abound on the ground, as we were seeing there. Everybody getting a participation award on this as well for Sentinels with those frags, which means all those ultimate points are building up nice and true for them. And they'll be able to start cycling those out. Two away, Zom's on deck for his. And we still see in two or three away for the side, 100 Thieves, and that may be the rally that they need to get back in. Definitely focusing on that technical timeout to see what could be troubling either team here. We'll get that sorted out and get back in. Guns now for both teams. No, we're still waiting on the buy from 100 Thieves. It looks like they'll hold out until they're ready to go. But that operator's out, Doug. That's what I'm looking at from Shazam. And where is he going to be setting up? Always an electric player. 
with the operators in his hands, as you said, we'll keep a close eye on how he sets up. And, you know, I, I want to talk, I, I touched on it very briefly, but now that we have a moment, I want to talk through um, that that Viper wall in particular. So the, the reason I want to highlight this is because oftentimes you'll see actually the, the, the vertical Viper wall, right, where it cuts off top ramps and it cuts off heaven. Mm -hmm. That's an excellent wall if you're going to do a heavy exec onto site, right? Like if you're going to do a fast and heavy hit uh, set piece onto the site, it gives you protection from ramps. It gives you protection yeah. from heaven. Oftentimes, you'll smoke off screens as well. You've got room to work with. But this this other wall that we're seeing is just so much more effective, in my opinion, from a default perspective, right? Because you still have agency to work up ramps. But mm -hmm. the thing that that wall provides that you don't normally get is protection from all of those cheeky, really sweaty angles that you have yeah. to worry about as you're working up ramps from heaven. Uh, and I was, I was I very briefly touched on, if you can exploit the middle of the map, while having ramps control, you really have that entire two thirds of the map is yours for the taking. Even if you've got someone playing in ropes, because of the the denial of information and yeah. the uh, the opposing team is always going to has to respect that, right? They have to respect the possibility that you're working in that area of the map because of what's denied there. So just an excellent map in my opinion as far as default you works. If Viper Mains at home who are watching this try that try that wall out. I personally love it. I also generally love nerding out about. Viper lineups in general. No. So. <laughs> no one would have understood. <laughs> Four to zero here as we are in our first best of series of the day. Both teams heading to Berlin, but they still got to duke it out. 100 Thieves would love to get this win over Sentinels because then they go to grand finals and they get a win over the Sentinels organization for the first time this year. They did win the Icebox match 13 to three in a best of series, but that's not. That's not winning the war. It's just part of, <laughs> part of the battle. We're here to win the war. Sentinels, however, off to a great start in that as they stampede out of the gate to get this victory in their hands. And it looks like Dapper will just step up to trade a few shots and say, yeah, I'm here for Ethan. Don't worry about it. And they won't push up as quick into that deep garage area. Pretty default setup for both teams Whoa. right now as they just feel out what agent might be where. Yeah, so that was a really interesting early setup from 100 Thieves. You saw the wall went up, and Shah had the op. He was able to get the opening pick, but Steel was set up in sewers looking. I think they were expecting a little bit of early aggression from Sentinels down the yep. middle of the map that just never came, right? You still got Steel holding that angle. You've got Nitro, who's playing on the opposite side of the map, defaulting, feeling things out towards A to play off of the Astra Star that's set up towards Rope. But the Viper utils at B. I think Shazam just loves these angles. When he's the op, he lives here. T side or defending side. The rotation now comes through. Steel, oh, lurking, finding, gets himself a frag to open up on the operator, and he gets a lot of money out of the hands of Sentinels now a 4v4. Now, and look at this, this is what I was talking about. It's not off the wall, but they left. have that level of control. They have min-map control. They've just busted out the Seekers. It's going to get so much info, but Zom's with a big kill. Oh, Ten's looking to get another one. He does just that onto Hiko, stays alive. Lear buying him a little bit more space. Dapper oh! comes out from up top and lands the shots. The look was so good for 100 Thieves. They had mid-map control they had a control but it got blown up they paused on the way into the site it's just not happening the opening frags in these trades are going to sentinels that's all you got to say at this point the frags aren't coming in for 100 thieves and sentinels just seems to be a bit faster to the click and more accurate with it here both One looking into remains. sight instead of trading points there and then kind of just standing out there in the open ethan gets taken down as he's backpedaling into sight all out of sorts now five to zero as sentinels are taking these rounds off 100 thieves yeah, and it's another broken buy. You've got Steel who has the Spectre, and he has the ult in tow. Oftentimes, you'll see a KO in a situation like this. They're intended to be the tip of the spear, but you've got Asuna dashing in. Has Blade Storm. This is a really good entry so far. Sick has to back up all the utils offline. Steel's gotten his hands on an op as well. Let's see what they can do. Sentinels talked about how good they are. He takes the Cosmic Divide's going to come out. All things off. Now, what this does is this forces... This forces oh, Sentinels it. to fight through the wall to take the fight to them. That, that actually provides so much room for them to work with. Tense is just on the other side of the wall. They're going to have to it. challenge. They're going to have to challenge the Cosmic Divide to get there, but there's nobody to challenge it. You can't spam through the wall. They steal the Diffuse right out of under their noses. Another beautiful round from Sentinels. Uh. A 
Okay, they saved the operator, which ha which has to be what they're holding on to now because these rounds are not working out for 100 Thieves. And the retake from Sentinels is just brute force each time. Like, good luck holding that as well. The Cosmic Divide, chef's kiss right there for getting that diffused down. Uh, Ultimate's still there. Tens can go off with Empress if he wants to. They do have the Blade Storm this round on the side. 100 Thieves. 6-0 as this one is going quite quick. We're into round seven already. Austin has got the op and the Blade Storm. Wall up across the middle of the map. We've seen Sick do that a number of times. In this half, this will be no different. This time around, this is a, a much slower, much more faulty, right? Like, and the, the truth is, if you're 100 Thieves, you haven't really found success anywhere. So it's just a creep up. Play the wall. Look for a quick headshot. See if they can draw some util here. Steel's gonna, gonna be a bit of the bait. Gets himself back for safety here so they can take the wall out and give Asuna a chance to open this round up. Played so slow. It's, it's not about util, it's about the dry fire. Both missed their first shots there. And it's gonna be tough to get a second chance. Steel's gonna have to push for this one, Doug. And a little bit of room is grabbed each time. Yep. We're still yep. looking for first blood. That's what I was about to say, man. It may have been a missed shot on both sides, but that feels like a win on the side of 100 Thieves because of the space that you just got. That allows Asuna to get in a position to do that, right? If Steel doesn't take ropes, Asuna can't get there to land that shot. Now they have Heaven Control on B. They still have Garage Control coming out of B as well, and they have an excellent Viper's Wall for a set onto the site, but they're going to have to make it out. Asuna gets another one. Dapper. Dapper in an excellent spot, but oh, no, Asuna word. rips head off, his head off as well. Three on the round for him. Ten seconds left as the spike goes down. Two members remain on the side of Sentinels as 100 Thieves are looking to get on the board. A little bit of mid control. A lot of agency gained here for 100 Thieves this round. They needed to take more members out before allowing Sentinels to execute a retake. Their numbers dwindling. They have no chance to get back in here in round seven. What a round from Asuna. One in mid, one in heaven, and then again to drop into sight for hell. Zoms with a few good shots. Always good for one or two. And he'll look to get some exit frags on this round. Yeah. An excellent response from 100 Thieves. Again, it was all off of getting mid-map control. I also lightly, very quickly want to touch on this Viper wall. Uh, because of the position on which the spike is planted. So once that spike is planted there and that wall goes up, you're forcing the opposing team to fight through the wall to get off of it, because you're not going to steal yeah. a diffuse from there, right? If that wall's up, you have to get past it. And the thing is, it's not like you can go around pillar to take that fight because you're blind there as well. Like from the defender's side, trying to get through that is so difficult. You have no idea where they are on the other side and you're not going to get a diffuse without it. So that's just such a good wall to get into a safe position in your post plants to get the, the spike to diffuse yeah. in, in a very comfortable place. Very well played by 100 Thieves. A double peek up top, we just saw in that replay as well. Nice by Steel yep. and Asuna working together. A little buddy system as they're on the board. Looking to make it 6-6. Six, six. 10 says, how about we make it 4-5 for at least this round? Just bold, Oof. man. That's just bold, right? Like, what do you do with that? He hasn't done it yet. Is... No precedent was set. Just this round. Why not? Yep. Just changing the pace and keeping 100 Thieves on their toes. They certainly seem like they've been on the back foot for the majority of the half, and the score confirms that as well. A rare miss by Shaz there. But the thing, I mean, you're not going to get into heaven, right? It's walled off, and you've got Shaz on the other side. Ooh. The nice thing is you've got Nitro working up mid, but you've got an alarm bot, you've got a nano swarm, and you have a rain on, on in, in tens playing right off of B Heaven as well. There, There's no place that's easy to get into here, Riv. No, and Shazam just took damage. Not even full heal off of that one. So two shots, he's going to go down to a Vandal Phantom. And they are they going to push in here? Gaining this ground of ramp, uh, if they know they're all here, it doesn't mean much. But having ramp and possible left. lurk in mid would yeah, really be way. what they're looking for. You can see all of Sentinels is backed off to give it the retake. Good old retake. Kiko drops Zombs, but not before he can take down Ethan. Asuna gets up top, got the Blade Storm, a little dueling Blade Storm, and Shaz comes out as well, not able to land oh. the shots. Well, see if Asuna has better luck. Holding the tight angle with the op, and he lands the shots. The Viper's Pit's gonna come out. As Asuna and Nitro are both out, Shazam goes in aggressive. Shazam gets the kill with the classic and the round. Yeah, the spike goes down, but Sentinels get another one. 
that's one of the things you you love seeing about Sentinels is that once they all lock in, the round is theirs. They get so bloodthirsty, and they just yep. go straight for it. Shazam knew there was no other outcome. Even if he went down, the team is there to smother the rest of any of their opponents. And here, making the win to the site, Shazam. Quick work there. If not around the wall, he would have gotten the next up shot through the Poison Orb. But he still finds it. A little classic with cheese there in the end to wrap it up. Uh, seven to one here as we enter round nine. And we do have Cosmic Divide up along with the other wall. They could set something up on the side of 100 Ds. But you're looking at six res as well as tens with Empress. Uh, still or again? I can't even count them. <laughs> oh, the flash was there, but Ten just lands the shots anyway. On to Asuna, they were looking to play off of that, but Ten just stuffs it. He just stuffs it, and Shazam oh, does as well. Oh. It just opens season on members of 100 Thieves as Sentinels continue to stuff every single look that 100 Thieves are throwing at him. Honestly, every time 100 Thieves is entering a site, they're not looking at the member of Sentinels. And that's, I, you wouldn't even call that a fault. It's just Sentinels just seems to have that peak timing, understanding when their opponents are going to be focused on something else or in the middle of a utility. And a flawless round again here for Sentinels now, 8-1. to one as they continue to rack these rounds up. Everybody, again, that participation award going all around is 10, starts them off quick here. Understands when he has to get out, and it's the pressure they can continue to create. Instead of going in, they worry about 10s, and then heaven peaks. Their timing is just immaculate right now on the side of Sentinels. And now they're going to be on a, uh, now 100 Thieves are going to be on a weird buy again. You see Steel, it's only 2,400 credits. Ethan can buy up, Hiko can buy up, but... It's, it's certainly a mixed bag. So you start to yeah. think about, for the rest of the half, how many windows are left for 100 Thieves to like force something, right? And make this mm -hmm. a competitive half. And Riv, that, that opportunity is closing very quickly. For sure. And we looked at the maps coming in, Doug. We, we said, all right, 100 Thieves has not played split competitively. That we've seen, they're scrimming, sure, competitively for two months, right? right. To win an event. That means with Sentinels playing it a few times or their one time in those two months, they have the strats, they're ready, and they see that about 100 Thieves. And they say, that's where we can start to put pressure on, is that first map. So you throw 100 Thieves for a loop, you're going to have Haven next, which is just a head-to-head -head battle between these teams. Always has been. I can't wait. I hope it goes over time. But this was a great pick by Sentinels to really throw a wrench in the works on 100 Thieves. And to get live reps on a map that exactly. saying isn't played very often. And, damn, they may not get it very often, but they sure are liquid in it. Shazam, the dash. Nice to push him away. So that's going to create some space. Just pistols here for, for 100 Thieves, though. Austin has already dropped. Nitro trades it out, but spike yeah, down, they're just going to get picked apart, right? Now the spike is right right in six slap. There's really no way for 100 Thieves to get there easily. They're down to three members left. Just a Last player good. standing. Oh! He's still hungry. <laughs> mm. Got a jumper. He's just mm. jump classic right there. Oh my word, Shazam is just feeling it right now with the squad as they run forward, continue these frags fearlessly right now versus 100 Thieves on split to start this best of three series out. Operator still in the hands of Shazam. The money has not been flowing enough for that to be recycled or cycled into the loadout of 100 Thieves again. They're looking to pick up Shazam's, looking to carry those through. And right now, they need these last few rounds to put some padding in for the second half, Doug. I mean, look, Tens has 9,000 credits, man. He's maxed out, right? Like, financially, Sentinels are in such a good spot. You got to put some of that into a Roth now, then. <laughs> At this point, invest. In <laughs> See if it can carry over. It's just been it's just been such a complete performance from Sentinels. And, and 100 Thieves again. In the middle of the map. They've gotten to oh. ropes, but... This time, that duel goes in favor of Shazam. Just on point with the aim right now. Sentinels is making it look pretty easy. As hard as it is, honestly. Shazam, 
waiting again for one. It. Nosey has to dash out to the left if he does get stuck in a spot. There's Nitro's Cosmic Divide. He's had it for a few rounds, but they do find a reason to use it as they let loose on the Seekers. Let's see how Sentinel's response. So this wall will give them access into heaven and it will defend, it will block off defender spawn on site. You've also got Hiho who's going to be working in from garage to clear out back site. So far, so good, but Dapper's an anchor. No! Dapper's a turret. Dapper gets three. Tenzel's right there as well. He gets the last one. Sentinels get to 10. It's just a sentry turret. Just last round before the switch. Oh my word. Three heads, same spot. Wow. It's real it just hard easy. to get by that. And it's it's really easy to think, okay, he's checking a different angle, right? Yeah, a yeah. shot's made, they check their back. You make two shots, you're definitely checking a different angle. <laughs> None of those are the answer. He's still looking. What a shot. Three in a row. A hat trick there coming in for Dapper. Sentinels is on fire right now. Last round here, your first half. Steel. Has the ult, but he's playing alone over towards A. Going up. Looks like there might have been an opportunity to get through that wall. Not quite skinny enough. Those big bulky robot shoulders not going to fit. But the rest of the team destroyed. is defaulting on B. And no, it was just enough for the bullets to be the one to clean steel up. So that ult's now offline. He's not going to be able to bring that into the fold as the rest of the team lean towards B. There's also no... There's nothing about that that Sentinels believe the hit was actually towards A. Right, like there was so much, Sentinels were so comfortable with what they were seeing yeah. that they never pulled off a B. They actually invested the lockdown because they were confident that that's where the hit was. Now they're going to rotate off, but take a look on the minimap again. You've already got Sick and Zoms who are ahead of the play. They're already at A. See how Zom sets up Stars once they realize it. They may have heard something now coming in. Stars are going to be set up here on the side of Nitro. Clears out heaven, clears out screens, and they enter the site. And Asuna and Ethan are both able to get a pick a piece, but oh! Sick! Oh, Sick already good for oh! two, Sick good for three, not able to get the fourth as Asuna looking to bring this round left. back in a 1v2. He's, oh, he's got enough time, he's going to be able to get the spike down as well. Now, if you're Dapper and you're 10s, you're going to be pushing in from different angles. As you see, 10s is looking to spot up in heaven. Dapper's been spotted, two bullets left, make that one. He's gonna have to reload as he dances around right into the warm, welcoming arms of 10. The Sentinels is gonna get the defuse. They're gonna take an 11 to one lead at half riv. I, I didn't know what to expect, to be honest with you, going into split, but it wasn't this. I was the 8-4, the 8-4 Sentinels, something a little more around the 7-5 range maybe, but not that. That was pretty, Pretty absurd coming in from Sentinels. They came out swinging. They didn't take a breath. I don't think they blinked throughout that entire <laughs> matchup because they were so ready for every angle 100 Thieves was going to come into, every angle they had to retake on, and it just looks like 100 Thieves could not gain any ground even when they were able to cycle the operator into as soon as hands. And then even when they did get ground that they needed, it was just... Is just like gun diffed <laughs> at the end yeah. of the day as Sentinels just were able to dismantle. Folks, we're going to cut to a very quick break. And when we return the second half of Split, don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, dear friends, to the first map of this Upper Finals Best of Three. I'm Doug, and with me is my main man, Riv. And if you missed the first half, take a look at the score, and it will tell you everything you need to know. Sentinels just from top to bottom dismantled. 100 Thieves, and now yeah, 100 Thieves on the defense. We'll see if they can dial up something different. That plaque, that Odin clip coming into this uh, second half we just saw on the commercial. That if he if Sick got the last kill, we would have named that the demoralizer because that I don't know. <laughs> is they're coming back from that? Oh my! It, we'll see. Under Thieves now on D. Hiko's gonna have cover John B. Puts out that toxic. He'll just hang with a one way. Oh, he takes a oh. shot in the face. Yep. Through his own one way. Can Asuna trade? Dapper gets out, so a little damage inflicted across the map to start, Doug. And you see Sentinels now slowly working their way up across the middle of the map. And the tip of the spear is going to spot Nitro. So that's going to give them some info, right, that the middle of the map is lost. Uh, at this point, and the Flash is going to confirm that as well, but it looks like oh they're my. just going to want to run right into it. Nitro comes swinging right out of the gates. He gets cleaned up as sick gets a second. On to Ethan as well, and he's looking for more 47 HP. That seems to be all they need as they have full control of Heaven. Steel's gonna get walled off and with a pistol, that's gonna take forever to get through that. But look at Jazam. Oh, look at Jazam, look at Jazam. Oh. Good night, they just continue to pick 100 Thieves apart. Doesn't clear it. They have the same HP. Dueling Jets, but it's gonna be Zoms that gets it. I think it was Zoms. Whoever on the side of Sentinels hit that zero point as fast as Match they did point. to shut down Steel Suppression, that was on point. Then yeah. Shazam pushes forward to clean up another kill like we saw over the wall. They are just vibing on the side of Sentinels right now. 12 to 1, and they might make it a 13 1 right here, Doug. Your 100 Thieves here, you, I mean, really. Force up as much as you can. No reason not to. So they're going to bring a Marshal and a Spectre into the fold. Along yeah. with a couple of those Ion Sheriffs. Automatic headshots or so they say. Uh, but the early flash coming out from Ethan should get some info that there's presence in A-Main. All right. Decent. Able to get at least one or two, I believe, with that. Unless they actually just got to the outside. They're just looking for shots now, using a little bit of util to see if they can kind of keep Sentinels at bay before they get the attack. But yeah, look at Tens already look pushed tens. up. Look oh, Tens! I mean, Sick is all the way in there as well. Shazam's creeping around. He's going to get cleaned up as they're, they're kind of like flipping. They're inverting. Trading the map is flipped on its head. Here. Yeah. As now Sentinels have gotten onto B. They're on the site. They're going to be able to get the spike down in 100 Thieves. They're trying to re-clear the middle of the map. They don't know if they've lost ropes control, so they're going to have to check that. That's why you still see Steel swing up there. Meanwhile, you've got Nitro, who's going to be coming in from Defender Spawn. He's going to get a shot onto Zoms. While Ten's holding down this angle. He's going to hear it. He's going to hear Ooh. everyone trying to clear out. Nitro, crispy shot. On to one. As Ten comes out, he's going to see the flash come out, but Steel wins that duel as well. And somehow against all odds, okay. that's the round. <laughs> that's the round that they win. There you go. I yeah, got got Sentinels in a little bit of a loose spot there. <laughs> Didn't have every angle covered. The sheriffs come up, so a few guns gonna be picked up here. Ego gets himself one. We can see where it has really been tough. Four hundred thieves. The frags just weren't coming in, and at the end of the day. That means Sentinels it has been hot, and we've seen it. It isn't kind of a firefight between both teams. Sentinels yeah. sees a player, and they take out a player. Their first shots have been so confident, and they continue that. 12-2 to two here, as we did see 100 Thieves just pick that last one up. So let's see if they can pick up some momentum and uh, push Sentinels a back just a, a tad. The wall's not up yet. 
And Sentinels are just gladly going to take space away. They're just going to work up across the middle. Now the Viper's Wall is going to go up. At that point, it's all in here. We do have some present from Asuna and from Seal, and that's exactly what they get. Asuna is good for two. Seal isn't able to tag anything up. But he gets away with his life. Asuna did drop. But Sentinels still have some presence. Ooh. Shazam switched to Sheriff. Interesting. He was blasting with the ion yesterday. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> he says, take it anyways. You're going to rock more with this, Dapper. So we see Tens moving in as well. Kiko sitting in the back of the site. This is that phantom that they have. So he is imperative in the back there to do some good work. So what, have you, what do you do here for Sentinels, right? Like... You're down a player. You have a gun disadvantage. They're, they wait for a move. They're waiting to see 100 Thieves before they commit. See, like, see how slow left. the angles are being checked? Well, it's not full committal with double checks. This is a double check the always. Timing. The timing! Double check. Boom. Ethan had to be? That's just so unlucky. He, he was in a great spot, but he just happened to be looking back towards Defender Spawn as the swing comes out. Now they've lost Defender Spawn control. They're going to be able to get onto the site. Nitro? Oh my Let god. Anything about it. Steals up top. Nitro drops. Steals going to drop as well. Is this how it ends? This early on, Hiko's left alone, and we've seen Hiko in situations like this before, and he somehow manages to make magic happen. But uh, this, is, this is beyond magic, right? Like, this has to be a miracle. So he's cleared out a certain area with this one. Oh, he gets caught with the ability out. Now checks the backside because he knows he's going to get double peaked. Five bullets in the clip. Full reload. Thrifty. Not going to be enough, dog. Win. <sighs> Not going to be enough indeed. A thrifty round win for Sentinels to take map one 13 to two we talk about a performance like that and it, it's really hard to point at one thing and go oh this is what sentinels was able to do to exploit hundred thieves to get their number right to keep them on their toes no it was it was everything and the, yeah. the difficult thing is hundred thieves they weren't one dimensional right they tried changing pace they tried different looks right. they tried playing off of util sentinels just had the bead the entire time they really did. The reads were pretty amazing, actually. How fast Sentinels was retaking the site, uh, using Cosmic Divide to make three players absolutely nullified on that one B take as Sentinels was defending on 100 Thieves Plant. The things they did just seemed to be in order. Like, it was a kind of just a mind read the whole time. Yep. And we did expect...